そうですねあの日本では例えばレーシングドライバーになりたいっていう夢っていうのは I have always loved cars. As a child, I dreamed of being a race car driver. But that's even less likely in Japan than it is in North America or Europe. I created Gran Turismo because I always wanted to work with cars. I didn't expect the game to sell as well as it did. It has a real driving feel and graphics very close to reality. Those things didn't really exist in the racing genre until then. I made the first Gran Turismo for Japan with mostly Japanese cars. I'm making Gran Turismo 2 for the world. We're going to have about 400 cars on 20 tracks. We brought some of the cars here to test them and capture photos and sound. My goal is that each user everywhere can actually drive the car that you own or want to buy. Or just admire and will never be able to purchase. I want the owner of a car to feel that driving the car in the game is exactly like driving the car on the road. I create the car from start to finish. Today I took photographs from all angles to record details like tires, headlights and hazard lights, so I can reproduce these cars exactly. I get the plans, performance data and all the color samples from the manufacturer and apply them to the model. It takes about a week to make a car for the game. If there are problems, it could take a month. In GT1, I didn't want cars to spin when they collided so that you could keep playing the game. But gamers told me they want damage. GT2 will have an option for car damage. If you choose it and your car is hit, it will spin or become tougher to handle. But the damage will just affect how the car handles, not how it looks. One very important change is that we are going to have dirt tracks. The cars will be able to skid around. And Laguna Seca will be one of the tracks. Our job is course design. We draw the course line, model it, then apply textures and landscapes. It's very valuable for us to come to Laguna Seca. We knew from pictures how the turns here would bank, but now we can walk and drive them so we can put their exact feel in the game. Gran Turismo 2, unlike other racing games, it's not important to just go fast. Sometimes speed is not as much a factor as skill. Slowing down can be the most important thing. I have a driving school, and Yamauchi-san was one of my students. I didn't know he was the producer of Gran Turismo. The things he was learning in my school, he put into the game's driving license test. How to accelerate, how to brake, how to turn the corner. If you want to enjoy Gran Turismo 2 the most, do not think of it as a video game. Drive as if you're in a real car. Drive at the highest level possible for you, and the game will teach you and raise you to a new level of enjoyment. Laguna Seca has a famous corner called the Corkscrew. I've known about it ever since I was a kid, but growing up in Japan I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. The day before yesterday, I drove around it and the whole course in a Viper. I thought to myself, this is my dream come true.